Are you gathering some things for a science experiment? Wow! Let's see what you're up to! You've got a pumpkin, a spoon, a twig, a rock, a pine cone, a coin, and an apple. Now that you've got all these things together, you want to see which ones sink and which ones float. All right! Let's test the pumpkin and the coin. But first, we need to fill a container with water. Let's place the pumpkin in the water. Try the coin. It sinks. Wait a minute, but the pumpkin is way bigger than the coin. Odie, do you want to find out why the pumpkin floats, but the coin sinks? When an object is placed in water, it either floats or sinks. Just because an object is light does not always mean that it will float. And just because an object is heavy does not always mean that it will sink. For example, a small iron nail will sink. But a large log will float. One of the reasons why objects sink or float depends on density. All objects are made up of molecules, and molecules are packed differently inside different objects. When molecules are packed closely together, this makes an object more dense, causing it to sink. When molecules inside an object are packed more loosely, this makes an object less dense, causing it to float. Let's see if the rest of the objects sink or float. Let's start with the twig. It floats. Let's try the spoon. It sinks. Now the apple. It floats. Next, the rock. It sinks! And finally, the pine cone. It floats! Nice work, Odie! 